having learned the uncertainty principle, let's now try to uh, do some applications of uncertainty principle. So the first one is to determine the ground state energy of a harmonic oscillator. And you know that for a harmonic oscillator, the energy is given by, let's call it E, that is uh, given by half m omega square x square the potential energy plus p square by 2m the kinetic energy. Now we have to make an assumption we are supposed to use the uh, uncertainty principle alone and obtain the ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator. So let's uh, take the assume that momentum, the uncertainty in momentum is approximated to the momentum itself and the uncertainty in position is the position itself which in this case is the amplitude A therefore substituting these two back into equation 1 we get E is equal to uh, instead of uh, x we may write it as half m omega square delta x the whole square plus instead of p we may write it as delta p the whole square by 2m so let's call this equation 2 now use the uncertainty uh, principle whose mathematical form is delta x delta p is almost like h cut therefore uh, we can write what is delta p from here so delta p will be h cut by delta x. Delta x we have already taken it as the amplitude so h cut by a. Now again substitute this back to equation uh, 2. So substituting 4 into 2 uh, we get e is equal to or approximated to h cut square by uh, 2m a square plus half m omega square a square. So instead of delta p we have substituted as h cut by a and delta x is approximated as a itself. Now for the ground state uh, you know that the energy is minimum therefore dE by dA should be 0 the derivative with respect to 0 so finding out uh, sorry we can call this as 5 and this equation will be 6 so use the energy expression from 5 and solve for 6 so dE by dA from 5 will be if you take the derivative uh, it must be something like um, minus h cut square by m a cube the twos will get cancelled plus m omega square a is equal to 0 right so now we may uh, solve this equation and obtain what is a from here Please make note of the error that ma that's made in the previous derivation that is minus h cut square by m a cube. I have written it as m a square. It should have been m a cube. So it leads to the value h cut square by m a cube equal to m omega square a. So this implies a raised to 4 
just so solve this equation we get a raised to 4 will be h cut square by m square omega square or from here taking the square root we get a square equal to h cut square sorry h cut by m omega so this is also an important result that we get here and let's call this as equation um, 7 now substitute the value of uh, a square that is equation 7 back into our equation for energy which was equation 5 so substituting that back to equation 5 we get energy is h cut square the expression for energy was h cut square by uh, 2 m a square plus half m omega square a square so wherever you have a square or a just substitute it from 7 so this will imply h cut square by 2m instead of a square we replace it as h cut and n omega goes up plus half m omega square again a square which is replaced as h cut by omega now you can see that some of the terms cancel out so here one h cut and one h cut cancel one m get cancelled here also one m get cancelled one omega also get cancelled so so what remains here is half h cut omega plus half h cut omega which is h cut omega therefore uh, we get the total energy as total energy ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator as e equal to h cut omega which is the uh, and which is the ground state of a harmonic oscillator by using the uncertainty principle so that's about the derivation or the determination of ground state energy of a harmonic oscillator using the uncertainty principle thank you